a lot of people in my community will ask questions about um, raising their little star seeds. Mm -hmm. And (laughs) I really wanted to hear what you have to say about this because I think it ties into well, the way I'm raising this child is going to be very different. Everybody, everybody loves to judge parents, right? Everybody loves to have something yeah. to say about how someone's raising their kids. It's like, I mean, so ridiculous. <laughs> um, but I'd be curious, like, to hear more about, and I'm sure this will be helpful, like your kind of your approach with with Jameson and just like letting him be who he is. And I think a lot of, I mean, I don't really always know how to answer. I just kind of channel what comes through, but it's different to actually be a parent because I have a lot of people in my community who are like, you know, even like the way they eat, right? Because it's different. Like their bodies are different. um, And it's like, well, I'm I'm worried they're not going to get enough nutrients. They just want to like drink chocolate milk all day. You know, so how do you like navigate that when your kid is just so, so clearly this, this, you know, crystalline (laughs) star child? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you know, Jameson came in as like a teacher. So I feel like, you know, and he talks about other kids as like the kids, like the kids <laughs> need to know, to know this, right? Like he's not a kid. Yeah. Um, and so he has taught me many things from the time he was little, like even before he was, you know, putting full sentences together. Mm-hmm. Um, but we always honored, like he was having these other experiences. Like he, you know, had a lifetime on the Titanic. And so he came in loving the Titanic and building Titanics at a very young age and talking about the engineering of the Titanic and why it hit the iceberg and all of these things. So that's kind of surprising, you know, when your three-year-old is basically talking about the Titanic and they've never introduced the Titanic to them. Mm -hmm. Um, And so we just always honored that we listened to it. We honored it. We asked him, you know, to tell us more. And from day one, we didn't push up against like his natural inclinations or desires. Um, We just started to notice them. And, and so that, that requires a lot of bending on the part of the parent, right? Because a parent really wants a lot of times to say fit into my mold. And we didn't do that from the beginning, which gave him a lot of freedom to explore who he was and be who he was. And, um, and he has continued to like, just really like change my whole mind on, on how these kids need to be parented. Cause it's not so much about parenting, this idea of parenting. Um, it's just about a safe space, right? Creating a safe space. They will cultivate themselves, right? And you can't force it. Like a lot of the behavioral problems that they're seeing in like these younger generation, you know, children is really just because they're being forced, right? All the time, like forced to eat this, forced to do this, forced to do that, forced against their will. And their will is very strong. And, and they understand specialization. So they understand that they came for a specific purpose, not to do everything. So the way that our current education system is set up, is give them everything, bits of everything. And so you might find that your child really wants to just focus on one thing and they wanna get really good at one thing. And, um, and that's actually part of this next wave where people learn to be more in community and work together and understand their role rather than trying to, for safety reasons, I need to know everything. I need to be able to do everything. Um, so, so they might be in school and like not being, you know, not caring about certain subjects or not getting good grades in those subjects or paying zero attention, right? Cause they just simply are like, I didn't come here for this. I don't care. And then they're super hyper-focused in other areas. So you just want to watch this behavior, like if they're very young in how they are taking to things and honor what they're taking to. And yes, of course, a child needs to learn to like read and write and do the basic, you know, skill sets, but don't like, don't force it, right? Make Mm -hmm. it fun, make it playful, build it into what they love. Um, Explain to them that it's important to have basic skill sets, but honor the fact that they have something they came for and something that they excel at and that they're good at and let them, let them be good at that, right? Let them get to mastery in whatever way and support them in that. So that's one of the things I would recommend um, because they all play a role and they know it at an intrinsic level. Um, Another thing is like, yes, their digestion is different. What they eat is different. Um, Jameson always, he drinks a lot during the day, right? He Is he cold thirst too? I don't know if he is. I don't know. But he, from the time he was young, like more than eating, he wanted to drink things like all day long, like still to this day. Um, Sometimes, and I've noticed too, that there'll be certain days where he 
he eats more food and then he'll go days without, with eating less food. So he's like, and we always taught him like, listen to your body, you know, listen to your body. And obviously our body doesn't want the same amount or the same things every single day. So he's gotten really good, you know, at listening to that. Um, I taught him when he was very young to be able to verbalize his emotions, right? Like to be able to feel sadness and say, I am sad. Like this has been really valuable for him to be able, because these kids have big emotions to be able to communicate their emotions, right? Like talk about them rather than just, you know, temper tantrum or, you know, feeling all the feelings, but not being able to have a conversation about it. I want him to be able to tell us, right. And have us honor that. Um, he told us, um, and, and I think I, I intuit that there'll be more of this too, because the traditional education system is so old school, right. And doesn't really honor these kids. Like kids are going to bump up against it and they're kind of here to reformulate it. So they, um, you know, when he was five, he was like, I don't think I am supposed to go to regular school. Like, I, I think I'm done here. Like, they don't understand how my brain works. Like, he tells me this. They don't understand how my brain works. So so we have approached education in a much different way. Like, he is homeschooled, and it's so fun. There are so many awesome ways to teach kids these days. And, like, he he uh, takes classes, like, from, you know, 23-year-olds that go to, you know, MIT and <laughs> University of Texas, and he has amazing conversations with them and learns, you know, how to code computers and how to build things. And, and they always like, right. And they're like, he's so smart. Like it's crazy what he knows. He was telling uh, the 23 year old about the Hindenburg. He's like, he goes, can you believe he made it to age 23 and he doesn't even know about the Hindenburg? <laughs> like, this is my son. Um, so you can expose them to just all kinds of things, right? That they find valuable. That's really beautiful. So if that journey ever presents itself, I know a lot of people um, who have kids aren't happy with the things that are going on, you know, especially here in California, if people are in California. Um, there's so many opportunities and there will be more and more for alternative, you know, education for these kids too. So if, you know, I just, I have helped so many clients, um, not that they ever came to me for this, cause I don't like particularly coach on it, but have found their way to alternative education, like just through the process of raising their own frequency. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's lots of cool stuff out there. So I, I just always say to parents, like, don't be afraid if you feel like the system isn't built for your child, or if you feel like old systems are antiquated, there's, if you really just start exploring, there's just so much out there. This is part of the new world, right? And they're helping us build it. 